What's up guys? For today's video, I finally got my Supreme stuff in. It took a long time for this drop, but um, I'm trying to remember in my head what this drop was. Um, oh, that's right. This was the box logo hat release. I don't know why I said hat. I meant to say beanie, but when the beanies had the box logo colorways to match the hoodies, uh, that's what this week was. I don't know what the collaboration was, but more than likely I did not get anything from the collaboration. But enough spoiling, let's get right into this. Now it was the winter tease. I was not able to get the Arabic logo, spoiler alert. And I was not able to get the dang holiday tea. So I'm very salty about that. I think in total I had about seven card declines from um, this drop. So I was really salty about that. Before I get into this, I forgot to tell you guys. If, if you guys start looking at your new Supreme packages coming to you, there's a, they changed the um, return label, so that's something different. And I don't know why I can't uh, open this. The little peel things are gone, and I kind of think, all right, so I couldn't use the peel thing. And actually, this is right, this is so weird, because how I just said that this is like a different address, or I don't know if it's a different address, but the return label is different, like it says something different. Now they're shipping it different, because I didn't even get a Supreme bag inside here but i did get a box logo sticker and then it has the hat so see this is really weird to me no invoice but that's normal because normally i get them if you get like two or more items but see no supreme bag different return label so things might be different for the future and this box logo is pretty beat up but that's okay i have a million of those but here it is right here i got it in the red colorway shout out to my girlfriend i was trying to get like 75 different things on this drop she had to come through and get this for me but it's in the red colorway, has the purple box logo. Now this was the hoodie I wanted the most, but as you guys probably could have guessed, I did not get the box logo hoodie. I took a massive L and I don't want to talk about that week, awful week. But on the back it says world famous. When I first seen this though online, I was kind of skeptical on then putting it on a beanie, but uh, I think it looks pretty dope. And I'm interested to see people that got the hoodies match it with the hat. I don't know how, what it would look like, but it sounds pretty dope. Let's get on to the next package. Next up is the T, see these, is this the same address? Yeah, see this is a different address. Are they not giving us bags anymore? I mean, I have so many bags, but like the fact that I'm, I know I'm not gonna be getting them anymore is kind of upsetting. All right, I don't think there's a bag in this one too. This must be something new. Oh man, this is kind of upsetting, honestly, if the bag thing is just completely over with now. Now, next up, this was the shirt I wanted the most for the personal collection, and no invoice again, which is kind of weird because they normally staple the pin to the to the invoice. I wanted this for the personal collection so bad. I had my girlfriend get me this too because I was trying to get the next package and the Arabic thing and the holiday tea. I could not get them. So she had to come through and get this for me, and I'm very excited she was actually able to get it because I would have paid resell on this. I wouldn't even have cared. On week one, I think it was, this came out in a hat, and I remember I was in IHOP talking with my friend about how mad I was that he didn't put this on a shirt. I thought they were so stupid for not putting this logo on a shirt. So I'm very glad that they decided to throw this logo on a shirt. Now I feel like this tee was pretty much slept on, but guys, it just says Supreme. Like, don't you guys miss when things just said Supreme? Now they just throw like a thousand things on it. It's just like the classic Supreme, like this world and like USA, some fire, I think that's what that is. And on the back, I didn't even know this, but it has the same logo on the neckline. So this is just so sick. I'm glad it's just like a nice classic colorway. I'm glad I was able to get it in the black colorway. This is in the personal collection and I plan to never ever sell that. So I'm very, very happy she was able to get that for me. And next up in that package, this is also for the personal collection. So, ooh, I probably just broke it. It's right here, this is the dagger pin. I know this was like exclusive, like an in-store exclusive. So I'm excited they were able to put this like on the website so other people could get it that couldn't go to the store. And there it is right there. I don't know if it's gonna be able to focus on it, but I'm sure you guys have probably seen it already. So I'm really excited to throw up another pin onto my Supreme shelf. And then lastly is this package and, all right, so guys, now that I've had three packages, I think something's up here because the, the return label is different. I'm not getting bags. The package is different because there's no peel thing. Everyone used to love that about Supreme because you just peel it right open. Now these are really hard to rip open. So I'm, I'm kind of sad if this is like how things are gonna be from now on. But this one was a little bit easier to open up and no Supreme bag again. Wow, I think, I think it's the end of an era, guys. The Supreme bags may be done for. 
but I did get a box logo sticker. I also realized from the last package, um, I didn't get any stickers. The way this is going does not look good for SS18, but I did get an invoice. It appears the invoices look exactly like they used to, so that's good. But I got a bunch of teas, so let's see what I got. And I kind of already spoiled it because I told you I didn't get the two most hyped teas. But I did get some fire. Um, I'm going to keep this one in the package because this one I feel like is not worth a single dime. So I'm hoping to get my money back on it. And I'm going to try to keep it as near dead stock as I can. Just so I can hopefully get what I paid for it back. But it is the dog tea. And it just has the dog uh, logo right there. I'm not even going to get into this. I'll just throw a picture of it on the screen. But next up, I really wanted this for the personal collection and I am not gonna keep it for the personal because I wanted it in black. I was only able to get it in navy. So we'll see how good the navy looks and if I want it for the personal or not. But this is the horror tea I believe was the name. This is honestly fire. I love this graphic. I think it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then it says Supreme down the side. I just love when it actually sticks to it and says Supreme somewhere on the shirt rather than just plastered with the other things that don't relate. But this one is just so sick, guys. Look at that. Graphic on point, screen printing on point. But I did get that in navy, unfortunately. I tried to get all my stuff in black. But I don't know, I might keep this for the personal, I might not. I'm unsure yet, but I got one last tee right here, and this is the Gons tee. Now, this one I thought was pretty dope. It came in a ton of different colors, and I think the graphic, oh, I don't know why I got this in the large, but I think the graphic was different on all of them, like different color scheme. But I got the black shirt colorway with the white and red logo on the top, and then it's just the Gon Supreme logo. I got this in black, I guess I got it in large. Normally, I've been trying to get medium this season because the shirts do run a little bit differently than last season. But I gotta hurry up and wrap this up because my camera battery is about to die. I forgot to change the battery before the video. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm a little upset with uh, the new way of Supreme. No bags. Um, it appears to be not really any stickers, like the new address. So let me guys know if you guys are getting the new address thing. I'm curious to see if I'm the only one. Well, I know I'm not the only one, but if like it's kind of like rare to get this. So let me know how that works for you guys. Let me know if you picked up anything from this season or anything from this drop specifically. And I think there's only like two more weeks left of Supreme. So hopefully I'll be able to cop some things from those two last weeks. And then we got the long await for SS18 and I'm so excited for that. So if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I got a ton of other Supreme Palace and other like Hypebeast videos. So go check all those out and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.